Well, everybody, it is time now to check on what is clicking in Cleveland. And Romney Smith is in for Stephanie today. Hi there, Romney. Hey, Betsy, good afternoon. So good to be with you. And let's start off first up a big honor for Kevin Love. The Cavs forward will be given the Arthur Ashe Courage Award at this Sunday's ESPY Awards. So the All-Star will receive the Arthur Ashe Courage Award for his work in mental health. Love first opened up about having a panic attack during a game in 2018. He since created the Kevin Love Fund and encourages young people and other athletes to focus on healthy living and emotional well-being. Past winners of the award include Nelson Mandela, Robin Roberts, and the survivors of the USA Gymnastics scandal. Quaker Oats announced Wednesday that it will remove the name and image on the Aunt Jemima packaging in a move toward racial equality. The company says it wants to brand its brands to reflect its values. Aunt Jemima's origins are based on racist stereotypes, even though the image has evolved over time. PepsiCo, which owns Quaker Oats, will also donate five million dollars over the next five years to support the black community. Other brands like Uncle Ben's and Mrs. Butterworth are also announcing similar change of image plans. And Regal Cinemas is planning to reopen its theaters on July 10th. So we want to know, do you plan on going to a movie theater or not this summer? You can always tell us at WKYC.com slash vote now. And while you vote and log on, here's what the company plans to do to make sure everyone who comes is safe at a distance. Okay, so they've added contactless payment options for tickets and concession items. You may also notice ULV disinfecting foggers will be used to sanitize each movie theater after each and every movie. Also, inside the theaters, there will be two empty seats between groups and hand sanitizer will be seen at the main entrance and other places in the movie theater. Now you can read the entire list of changes happening on our website, WKYC.com. All right, now let's see what you're saying about the question of today. We asked if you would go to a movie this summer and your results, 82% say no. Looks like you're being extra cautious. And you know what, Betsy? I kind of agree. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer, but certainly I wanna know what good movies are out there. You know, there are some more implications to it. You know, the awards, some of the awards, uh, those big fantastical Hollywood award ceremonies and whatnot, those awards are only issued for movies that have been shown in theaters. So it kind of becomes this <laughs> moment yeah. for the movie production houses. And of course, now they're releasing everything I on the know internet it. and streaming. So, you know, there's that going on too. All right, Romney, thank you so much. You and Jason can switch a roo again. <laughs> kind of a quick move over there. All right, thank you.